how to feel to have a career high five stops, particularly against that team in, in that setting? I feel great. You know, it's definitely needed. Uh, it was a big game. Um, all the outside noise and everything. So I feel like it was my time to step up and everything. So, you know, I gave my best and showed effort. What did, what did that win mean to your room? given two years ago and given what those two games were two years ago? Yeah, I meant a lot. You know, that game is based off who wins the line of scrimmage. You know, I felt like we definitely won a line of scrimmage, um, stopping the run and everything, then having the perimeter guys coming up and step up as well. Cal runs a significant amount of RPOs. Right. Just how difficult is that to defend from, from your position? Right. And how are you guys going about practicing that this week? Uh, it's always difficult to stop RPOs because, you know, don't know what you're going to get. Um, I feel like our scout team is giving us the best look we could get. So, you know, just every day in practice, watching film and trying to see the best advantage we could get. What do you, what do you make of Jay Not too? I'm not 100% sure who will right. play, but what do you make of him as a player? Um, explosive, you know, be able to, he's patient, runs with square shoulders, um, you know, could get on the second level really fast. So. You guys feel like the defensive line put on film some of its its best work, and is that maybe a measuring stick going forward of living up to that standard now that you've done it? Yeah, I definitely feel like we haven't really reached our mark either. Um, there's a, a lot of room to improve, you know, within the pass game and the run game. So I feel like we could take the next level and improve each each and every week. You've been with Brandon in the offseason the past couple of years. What's different about him this year where he's even more disruptive right. on a consistent basis? Uh, just him watching film a lot more. You know, he always be telling me that he'd be doing that. He doing the extra stuff. Um, and just putting in the work. You know, he's an older guy, so he already know familiar with the scheme, the formations, and all that. So he's really taking it, taking it to another level. How much of what he's doing in terms of playing every technique allows the rest of you guys to either pair up differently right. in different combinations? Because he can, he can literally go from zero to nine. That. It offers a lot of versatility. Nah, yeah, no, nah, it does. You know, because offensive linemen would want to go slide the whole front one in to him. Like when I'm in there, I usually get a one on one. So we already know ahead of time, like where's the slide going, you know, trying to make sure they stop him and so he doesn't get the pressures. Can you put into context just how difficult it is to, to do what he does from just from a physical standpoint? Yeah, no, nah, it's definitely, I mean, quick, explosive. You know, he has power and everything. You don't really see that much in, in a few guys, but you know, I feel like the 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 mark he's set up for this uh for this season is really like he's improved drastically. So the D line has rotated a lot this year. I know that's something to do with matchups, things like that, but physically, like how do you think that rotation all year long has helped you at this stage of the season? Like if you compare it to how you felt last year. Can you repeat that again? <laughs> Good. Yo. The D line has rotated a lot right. this year. Just yeah, how yeah. do you feel physically this year compared to last year where it wasn't as many rotations? Yeah. No, I feel I feel great. Um even last year there was I felt like the same, but no, we definitely has rotated a lot throughout the games. Um it's a lot less on our bodies and everything. We have most of the guys get in there, get their feet wet. Um guys that we can count on. So, you know, just taking advantage of the the iron cross and everything, getting our guys comfortable. So what have you seen from Amari Washington? He's one of like the, yeah. the first interior guys off the bench right. as a freshman. Just what have you seen from him this year? Oh, well, real explosive. Um, once he once he knows how to click it and get onto it, I feel like he's going to be unstoppable. You know, he's one of those guys that the coaches speak highly on. Um, just really could cause disruption up in the front. 